Okay. So, and this wonderful volunteer gave me another reason to celebrate her in the chat during this party. Um, so celebrating our volunteer specialists of the year, um, without a doubt, we are shouting out our beloved Dr. Eileen Murphy, um, who is with us. I see you. I think you might be in a car, so I hope you're safe. Um, Dr. Murphy, anyone who's there on a Monday morning, you are a lucky she comes in with the Monday morning energy we all need. I know I see you, Dr. Emma, you feel it too. Um, just that brightness and that lightness and that ready to go um, energy. Um, so I couldn't believe this when I was looking back and I had checked multiple records because it didn't sit with me. So I was like, it's been much longer. You started March, 2020. <laughs> How did you do it? And then you were back every month. Your first clinic was March 16th, 2020. Yikes. Um, and you came in with that energy and kept it throughout. Um, I know that you were also doing a lot outside of community health. I know that you were jumping into like the field site when they opened that up. I remember seeing your face on my WBEZ homepage when they were doing a story about it. Um, so Dr. Murphy does so much for us, for the broader healthcare community. Um, thanks to Dr. Murphy coming almost every week for a lot of that time, um, along with her peers and in, in our gynae crew, we got our wait times down to like one to two months, which is not something that happens in, in, in this space. That's always been one that we've really been getting to. So that was an incredible contribution. Um, you're incredible with your patients. You're a joy to work with. And one thing that I really love about you too, is you're always looking for more ways to support. You connect resources. Um, you advocated for us to look into getting pessary kits and then actually just made sure that we could purchase pessary kits to support our patients. Um, I know you've made various introductions to different philanthropic groups to help us leverage those resources to do more. So every time I see you thinking of new ways to support community health with like a wonderful smile on your face and that just energy that can't, I don't have words to describe it. So everyone find a way to volunteer on a Monday morning um, so you can benefit from it because it's really just um, joy, basically. Um, so I'm so thrilled to be celebrating you. Um, offered to vaccinate, that was the chat. Asked if, and so yes, I'll be sending you an email. Um, there will be opportunities, we'll get you in. Um, and so congratulations, Dr. Murphy. Thank you for being such a, a core member of our team and for staying with us and, and continuing to, to do great work. And I'll pass it over to you. Well, sorry about that. Yeah, you don't want to listen to uh, the, the the traffic on Columbus uh, Drive. <laughs> um, so I, I can't tell you how fundamentally uh, uh, of honor it is to be associated with community health. Is the mission that you have in your bones, your, your heart, your mind, uh, and everything else is so fundamentally important to the human condition. It is amazing how your, your organization and each member from the front desk to environmental services to uh, Magnificent Gloria, Vicki, Emily, Jessica, Elsa, you know, uh, Ava, everyone that I've come in contact with is that each and every human being is dealt with such incredible human respect and um i think that it, it it is something that so resonates with so many of us that we are there for each human being for what they need and it is way cool that you've put together something that makes sense that really should be a national health service you know insurance that we can help people with their needs so um, I, I just feel so privileged to be able to be there. And if I can do more and I can vaccinate a whole lot, I, I am absolutely delighted to, to be on your team and associated with any and all of you because um, everybody is doing really good, important work for fellow citizens. 